a very good morning students in today's class we'll be doing the lab test for iron that is ferric ions now i would be using ferrous ions but your aim in class 11th as well as 12th is to test for ferric ions so at some point we will also be oxidizing them for doing the test i have my student nikita she'll be performing the test for today hi nikita hello hello okay we begin with the salt first let's see what the salt is show the box nikita the box of the salt that we have used is iron sulfate that is ferrous and how does it look like the salt is looking like a pale green colored salt the color is due to the partially filled d subshell of iron iron has an atomic number of 26 the valence shell configuration is 4s2 3d6 partially filled d gives it the color let's begin with the cation analysis we'll start with zero group for zero group you need to take a test tube add a pinch of salt to this you have to add naoh solution and observe whether there is let me see and observe whether there is any gas evolved or not have a look there is no gas evolved which shows zero group is absent take a fresh os of the salt os is nothing but salt plus water nikita has already prepared the os of the salt this is the os she will take 1 ml of the original solution and we proceed with group number 1 So that's one mL of the original solution. To this one mL, for group one, you need to add dilute HCl. This is dilute HCl that she'll be adding to check for the presence of group one. No white PPT shows absence of lead. Moving to group number two, to the same test tube, you need to pass H2S gas in acidic medium. The H2S gas is prepared in an apparatus which looks like this. you can see the knob is perpendicular to the tube this is an off position nikita would be using this h2s in her test tube and by putting the knob in the on position and let me see i cannot see it nikita the test tube please okay the gas is being passed put it in purge it in purge it in further okay there is the gas is being passed through the solution remove it put off put it off have a look at the test tube no ppt shows group number 2 is absent which means it does not have copper in it fine so otherwise arsenic and cadmium used to be there in the syllabus had there been arsenic and cadmium you would have got a yellow ppt for copper you get a black ppt as you can see there is no ppt in group 2 so you can now start with a fresh os discard this keep it separately or discard it and we begin with the fresh os to proceed for group number 3 a fresh os of the sample to this os of the sample we will add a pinch of ammonium chloride first open it add a pinch of ammonium chloride first wait 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 uh, before adding ammonium chloride you need to convert the salt from ferrous to ferric which means you need to add concentrated nitric acid a drop or two concentrated nitric acid so the concentrated nitric acid is being added a drop or two of concentrated nitric acid is to be added add it did you add no okay add it this concentrated nitric acid is added to convert your ferrous into ferric fine please heat the contents after adding the concentrated nitric acid so that the oxidation of ferrous changes to ferric that's it after heating you need to add ammonium chloride to it for proceeding to group number 3 for group number 3 ammonium chloride solid is to be added with the help of a spatula shake it to dissolve and then cool it before adding ammonium hydroxide you can use the tap to cool it just under the tap she is cooling it just under the tap the cooling is done because ammonium hydroxide is nothing but ammonia dissolved in water so if you add it to a hot solution ammonia would escape and it would be as good as added addition of water so after cooling always ammonium hydroxide is to be added after cooling the solution that's ammonium hydroxide add ammonium hydroxide and observe carefully 
a little more and you are getting a ppt this ppt is reddish brown in color to this ppt you have to first dissolve the ppt in dilute hcl the ppt dissolves okay after dissolving divide it into two parts now after dividing into two parts keep one test tube there to one test tube you will add potassium ferrocyanide ferro potassium ferrocyanide that's potassium ferrocyanide one or two drops only not much that's it you get a deep blue coloration shake it a little to see the blue coloration that's one test to the second part of the solution which we just acidified you need to add potassium cyanate potassium cyanate let try to add as less as possible so that you can see the coloring yeah that's it shake it that's the blood red so the two tests are show the two tests show both of them together for iron the two colors that you get shake them are blue and red blue with potassium ferrocyanide and red with potassium cyanate with this we end the test for iron for further information on it the flow chart would be put in the description box you can have a look at it the other cation of group 3 is aluminium which is already in the channel i can still put it for you in the description box okay thank you bless you loads do well in life